Hey, Hunt Geeks, it's Chad with Hunt News Network, and we are at Trans World 2018, and we stopped at Escape Games Canada to meet Sean and Escape VR to meet Simon. Sean and Simon, thank you for stopping and uh, taking time out to talk with us about what you guys have to offer. So, Sean, I believe the, the marriage between you two starts here, and then it goes to Simon, correct? Uh, you got it exactly. We're the uh, escape room designers. We take uh, the escape room concept and video game industry and we merge them together and we break it down to a science. And that's really what it's all about. Wow. And all that stuff that we've learned over thousands and thousands of missions played, we collect that data and then we turn around and we feed it over to these guys at Escape VR to build some of the world's best software, uh, you know, software for this new uh, this new medium, which is the virtual reality medium, which is exploding all over the world. Right. Uh, so we're trying to stay ahead of the curve by taking what we know uh, and, and applying it in this new medium. Uh, and uh, on top of that, uh, I'll, I'll pass it off to Simon to give you a little bit more uh, information on how virtual reality uh, and our software work together. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to work with them because we, as far as we know, they're the best at what they do. And okay. so uh, we take their designs that, like they said, they, they've calibrated, they know how to do this. They send it to us and then we, we, create, we turn it into a VR experience, right? Right. So we, our business is that we sell uh, B2B. We sell to Haunts, um, which is something new this year. But we've been doing escape rooms in VR for uh, two, two plus years already. Okay. Um, we're available in about 30 escape rooms in six or seven countries already. And uh, wow. we're trying to expand and get into the haunt industry because one of the things that uh, business VR needs is space. Right, uh, they've got the money, but the space is an important factor in it. Right. Yeah. So, talk. Tell me what. How much space does does a haunt need for something like this? Uh, you only need 20 foot by 20 foot from what we have right now. Um, that's our biggest offering. However, in the future, there's room to expand, and we already have uh, smaller experiences as well. But 2020 is a good recommended size from us right now. Okay, yeah. and so. Uh, the hunter doesn't need to, or the hunter attraction owner doesn't need to build anything, right? I mean, they literally just have to have a footprint of 20 by 20, and you take care of the rest. That's right. It's a turnkey experience. Um, you can buy one, you can buy 10, uh, and there is no setup. Uh, you don't have to break it down. You can just leave it up, and it's very minimal. It's a big, empty space. Right. Um, in the future, we plan to have more games, more haunts that people can do. Um, whether it's like Christmas, Easter, or even just more Halloween experiences. Okay. And that only that means that we send them a USB or they download it, and all of a sudden they've got a brand new complete experience for all their customers to enjoy year after year. So is is if I go through this VR and you go through this VR, is the experience the same? Yeah, the experience is the same unless we decide we want to load up something different. Like for example, okay. our first haunt, it's actually two loops around where it's connected. But we're going to give people the ability to to split them up, and wow. so like you because the same the walk pathway is exactly the same. You can actually show them something completely different. Wow! Yeah, and they don't really realize that they're walking the same path. They don't realize it because they're they're in the VR headset. So, yep. uh, talk about what what physically do they wear? What is that all about? So uh, we we use off the shelf products so that we minimize the cost. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're use, wearing a backpack, which is the actual computer. It's about eight pounds, so it's you don't really feel very much. Right. Um, and we use the Vive headset right now for uh, the um, HMD, which is a head mounted display. Okay. And uh, so, if a uh, hundred attraction has a specific idea that they, they want to incorporate. Maybe it's a, an add-on to their haunt, so it needs to somewhat look like you know, what they have. Is that a is that possibility? Yeah, that is a possibility. Uh, in fact, we're trying to um, attack all the different genres. However, it's also easy enough for us to take out, for example, a zombie and put in a vampire. Okay. Um, we can use different models and put in different uh, customizations, and we're all about customization. Yeah. yeah. Well, Simon, thank you very much for taking time out and explaining what uh, you guys have to offer here at Transworld. If our viewers want to know more about Escape VR or Escape Canada, where can they find you? Uh, so our website is escapevrgames.com. We've got a contact form. They can reach out to me. Okay. Um, yeah, anytime. And you have social media? Yeah, yeah. We have uh, we have some presence on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All right. Um, if you look for us, you'll you'll find us. We're just the logo that's black and white. And, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's easy right. to remember. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Simon. Uh, this has been Chad with Haunt News Network, bringing you all things haunted. And make sure you stay locked in to all of our socials for the in-depth coverage of Transworld 2018.